the procedure that we're going to go over today is setting up a sterile field. I've gathered all my supplies. I need an alcohol wipe. I need a four by four. I need my sterile package. I need four cups in a bowl that are in sterile containers. I need normal saline and I need some extra two by twos. These are the, this is the equipment that you're going to need for your video validation. The first thing that I want to do is I want to wipe off my area so that it's clean. So I'm taking my alcohol wipe and I go in a circular motion to cover the entire area. We would wait until this is dry before we would continue, but for time's sake, we're gonna say it's dry. I've got my sterile package and I'm going to open it so that everything within the contents remains sterile. So, that way, this way, this way, and the last one coming down. And do the same for the inner package. Take your tab and you're trying not to work over the field at all. Bring the little wings out, and the last one always is towards you. Remembering where the border is, that one inch and inward is sterile. One inch outward is not sterile. The next thing that I'm going to do is add a four by four. So I'm going to open my four by four. And the thing that I do, I don't want to work over my field, but I bring the glue underneath. That way my 4x4 doesn't slide across the glue and get contaminated. And then all you want to do is come in from the side and plop it on. So it's okay. The next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my forceps and I'm going to add some more 2x2s. Like I said, I know this position goes through a lot. Now, again, we don't need gloves. We're opening all these with sterile technique, knowing where I can touch and where I can't touch. The glue is always a good border. have exposed, exposed is of the prongs is where I'm going to be hanging on onto the handle. So I'm going to take them because I want to keep the tips sterile. So you bring it out, take the cover off, holding the cover down. You do not want to hold the cover up. Hold the cover down. Go straight in. Grab however many two by twos you need coming straight out. Go in from the side drop and come back. Then just in case I need these again, I want to make sure I put them in the package with sterile technique. So I'm just going to slide them underneath there. The tips is what you want to make sure stays sterile. The next portion of this demonstration is that we're going to be adding a bowl onto the sterile field. This is what can get a little bit tricky. So, and it will take some practice on your part. Make sure you have your bowl in your container the correct way. Make sure that the opening of the bowl is down and that the plastic is on top. Open it up. Now I'm only touching beyond the glue. Now, I've got it like this. What I'm going to do is like so. And then I would bring it in from the side again and drop it. And I'm within my border, so I'm okay. The next thing, I want to be able to add water to this because I know he needs water. I went and got my solution he has ordered, which is normal saline. We're just going to say this is a new bottle, so we took the cover off. The next thing I need to do is make sure I date the bottle with the date because we know how long it's good for. It's only good for 24 hours. Again, don't be working over your sterile field. When I go to uh, pour the liquid, make sure you put your palm on the label so that you're keeping the label dry. And again, with the cover, keep it down. Come in from the side. 
You don't want to be too close and you don't want to be too far away because you'll splash. Take it off and then you've got that. So I've got an extra 4x4 four four on there, I've got 2x2s two on there, I've got my solution into the bowl. I think I'm ready for the physician. If um, need be, let's say he's running behind in the clinic, which we know they do quite often, I could get a sterile drape, open the sterile drape, and put it over my sterile field, which would contain it and keep it sterile. So that is one possibility. Your Mosby disc goes into this. They have different little segments. We just kind of put it all together for you. But make sure you watch your Mosby DVDs because they have a lot of very good information on there. And that completes this skill.